basketball. What are we talking about today? I'm lost in the sauce because my shoes are caught up in the microphone. The top three guns that I would recommend for a Minuteman. Now this is gonna be pretty vague, so you can insert and fill in the gaps as you see fit. But we're really talking about three types of firearms, more or less, that fit a certain niche that I think, at bare minimum, you should have in your inventory in case hits the fan. If you're new here, and you just came because I tagged Risky Krisky in the video, then welcome to the channel. Why don't you do me a favor and go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're here because we're dropping stuff all the time. Help me cuck the YouTube algorithm. Help me make them think that this channel is way cooler and better than what it actually is and that people actually enjoy the stuff more than they really do. If you're one of the 76% of viewers that are not subscribed to my channel, takes two seconds to click that button and it's free so even though he didn't ask for it this is a video response to risky Krisky's latest video on the three shtf weapons that minutemen concerned citizens what have you should have this is just my take on those weapon systems number one i believe as Krisky put it uh, a box-fed semi-automatic rifle what most uneducated moronic leaning people would call an assault rifle just because uh, it has a and an R in the name you are stupid by the way this would be my battle rifle before you start flaming me in the comments about the optic um, I just don't have the actual optic that's going to go on here yet so this is a placeholder so I already know shut the hell up uh, I do have irons on here and I am dead nuts at 100 yards with the irons uh, I do have a forward hand stop on this one I like it because when I'm getting that purchase at C clamp uh, this is how I like to run it when the irons are down. I still get a good grip on it I'm not in D in the light, but I can still reach it. Uh, this is chambered in 556 five, and 80 which means it'll run 223 also This is the American standard. This is America's assault rifle assault rifle That's what AR should truly stand for right America's rifle because this is America's rifle kind of went off on a little tangent there on this one one other thing I do want to say about this my suggestion if it were me I wouldn't go smaller than a 13.7 pin and weld 13.7 14.5 somewhere around there it's going to get you around the gay TF and they're ruling for now you're able to put an actual stock on it you can suppress it i mean we're trying to get away from the gay tf but you can suppress it it's a little bit easier for moving around in and out of a vehicle or in a house or whatever but they were clearing they were doing cqb in iraq and afghanistan with 16 and 20 inch long boys so don't tell me it can't be done Coming in at number two would be a semi-automatic pistol. This one happens to be an HK P30. It is a hammer fired, the 17 plus one, running standard nine millimeter, standard hall point. This is going to be your concealed carry, you know, for the standard person. If you ever need to use your weapon, especially out in public or at night defending your home if you can't get to the rifle this is probably what you're going to go with just a nine millimeter semi-automatic pistol now this is an h and k which i love in my opinion they have the best ergos on the market just fits my hand amazingly i love this thing 
and you can't tell me different. I've shot hundreds of rounds through this and it's by far my favorite pistol. The thing to keep in mind is is that while this pistol is amazing and I love it, it is an H and K, which means it is a little bit more difficult and a little bit more pricey to get parts. So, is this what I suggest in, a, in an SHTS situation? Probably not, unless you have the money to stack the parts that you need to take care of this when you're not able to do it otherwise. Uh, I would suggest, personally, the Smith & Wesson MP 2.0. Uh, I suggest that over a Glock and as much as it pains me to say uh, a Glock you know they're the S10s of the gun world everyone has one you can go into any gun store pawn shop whatever and either get a Glock or parts for a Glock the parts are readily available you can get them from the 17 to the 19 to the 28 to the 43 to every variation in between what I really like is like the P80s and by P80 I mean polymer 80 or like the dagger or maybe like a shadow systems and the reason I say that is I think they have better grips the frames are better uh, I just like especially if you're spending the money on the shadow systems it's like getting a Glock and then doing the trigger upgrade and all the upgrades on the Glock all rolled into one package. If you can afford it, get it. Otherwise, get one of the other ones. That said, I can totally build out a Polymer 80 or maybe like a dagger lower uh, with a threaded barrel, optics, weapons light, holster, and everything for the same price as the Shadow Systems. And that's just a pistol from the shadow system. I'm not talking shit about shadow systems, but we're going on a tangent. The reason I suggest those is because the parts are readily available. They're easy to get to. They have good magazine capacity. You can get the sticks or the long boys or whatever for Glocks that hold like 30 something rounds, put drums on them, whatever. Nine millimeter is at least as of now still a NATO round it's readily available here in the United States and would also be my go-to my number three is a little bit different maybe unorthodox but my number three with a caveat for now would be this here Springfield M1903 that's chambered in 30-06 this is my hunting rifle slash DMR rifle. Uh, I know, it doesn't have the correct scope on here. By that, I mean that this scope is made for 223.556, not 30 out 6 So using the dope on it would be different. However, most of my shots while hunting are in the woods. And really only one shot is over 100 yards it's about 150 yards the rest of them are 100 yards or in so the, this works perfect could I swap this out for a better scope for a 30 out 6 put this one on one of my ARs absolutely and I might even do that down the road but for now this is what I got for anyone talk shit about there being a scope on this rifle this was my grandpa's. He did bring this back from Korea. This is the OG assault rifle for America. America, fuck yeah. But he had a scope put on it when his vision started going. Uh, so they did some stuff. So now this uh, safety is permanently on. So you can only use this one. It's a little bit harder, you know. You can't just go straight down. You have to come in from under. It takes a little bit. You just have to know your weapon, right? Uh, would this be the rifle that I would take into SHTF? I mean, if this is all I had, yeah. Uh, but in an ideal situation, 
No. I would do something like Krisky's Minuteman Mark 12, which would be a 5.56223 with an 18 inch, at least an 18 inch barrel, maybe 20 inch barrel. Um, either a heavy barrel, cold hammer forward, something like that. Maybe with a binary so that it could be used in that RPK uh, format, but mostly to run like 77 grain or something to really get out there like five six hundred yards as a DMR and and now and I had this opinion before the video came out not that I need to defend myself to YouTube but I have talked about this to many people multiple times the whole reason I wanted wanted one in 556 five, instead of like 308762 was because I could take the magazine out of the right the duty rifle the 16 inch and put it into the DMR and vice versa the fewer calibers you have to stock up on the more you're able to stock up on things that are interchangeable you can toss it off to a buddy if you need to. 30 out 6 is more expensive than 556. But god dang, the hole that comes out of something with a 30 out 6 is is amazing. Uh, I have yet to shoot a deer or a hog with this rifle and have it run very far if at all. They always go down, and you can always find them. It's devastating what this rifle can do to something. That is my version of the three weapon systems that you need to have. And then for a Minuteman SHTF Concerned Citizens loadout. Uh, if you want to see the video that this is uh, responding to, I'll have it linked up here, and I'll... Uh, and try to get the thing down in the description as well. Just a reminder to make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Do me a favor, leave me a comment down below. Help me cut the algorithm. Until next time, stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready.